Yo, what's up guys? It's Art here and we're back with another banger today. Guys, I got some crazy clips for you. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment, and hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss any of our content. Guys, we appreciate it and I'm gonna get right into this. Shit. If you listen, oh my God. You know how everybody says these things are fake? Over Grissom. You know, the Air Force Base in Indiana? A 20 mile long mothership yeah. was crazy. spotted. Now, I know everybody's going to be like, ah, oh, the mothership thing again, right? But haven't we been hearing it? Haven't they been talking about the mothership hovering above, sending fucking. Guys, you know what's crazy? Every time they see a mothership, they'll see it, they'll drop, they'll be dropping like little orbs out the bottom of the UFO or something. I've seen it in tons of videos. But a 20 mile long one, that's crazy. Some drones to check us out. Isn't that what the narrative is now? Isn't, isn't that what they said it is? And mind you, mind you, you know what's happening in a couple of days, right? You know what's going on, right? Everybody is all fucking everybody's losing their shit myself included but not because yeah, of what's too. gonna be decided on in a couple of days i'm losing my shit because there's a 20 mile long mother shit that was spotted supposedly because this is just for entertainment purposes tiktok but supposedly a 20 mile long mother ship was spotted over grissom joint air reserve base in a military indiana. base if you live in indiana or in the surrounding states and you see this thing you got pictures you got footage anything please reach out to me click on this video leave a comment let me know what the hell you saw because we really want to know what the fuck is going on you guys how about you you guys want to know what's going on this stuff's crazy man i swear these videos get crazier and crazier as they go on this stuff's nuts i can't wait till they just flat out tell us they're real or i get to see one i tell my fiance all the time i'd love to get abducted by aliens <laughs> Breaking news, we just heard that the U.S. nuclear submarine fleet is being shadowed by UAPs, a.k.a. UFOs. That's what reportedly former U.S. Navy Admiral Tim Gallaudet... That's crazy, they're trailing our military ship. ...on Wednesday at the House of Representatives Oversight Committee. After upgrades were made to our jet's radar systems, we began detecting unknown objects operating in our airspace. You hear that? What? At first, we assumed they were radar errors. But soon, we began to correlate the radar tracks with multiple onboard sensors, including infrared systems, eventually through visual ID. During a training mission in Warning Area Whiskey 72, 10 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach, two F-18 Super Hornets were split by a UAP. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be 5 to 15 feet in diameter. The mission commander terminated the flight immediately and returned base. Previous hearings guys what do you think about that square ufo went right between two of our jets that's nuts and the military tries to hide all this stuff from us we've seen former u.s navy and air force pilots testifying about uaps but what does a former u.s navy admiral has to say about the uap phenomena reports indicate that parts of the former u.s navy admiral's testimony would be about underwater UAPs shadowing underwater. the U.S. nuclear submarine fleet. They hook the diver up on the winch and they're lowering him in and as he's looking... You guys hear that? They're shadowing our U.S. Um, ship fleet. That's crazy. And no one knows what these things are. Looking down, he sees this big, massive... He goes, it's not a submarine. He's seen submarines before. Once you see a submarine, you, you can't confuse it with something else. This big object, you know, kind of circular, he says, is coming up from the depths. And he starts screaming to, through the intercom system to tell him to pull the diver up. And the diver's like a few feet from the water. Yo, I would crap in my wetsuit if I've ever seen that. If I jumped into the ocean and saw a big UFO coming up from deep in the ocean. That's crazy. Water. So they reverse the winch and the diver's thinking, what the hell's going on? And he's getting pulled up and all of a sudden... Uh, he said the torpedo just got sucked down underwater and the object just descended back down into the depths and they never recovered the, the torpedo. 
Yo, that's what's crazy about these things. These things watch us. They watch our military. They watch our nuclear weapons. And they literally trail our military. Like, think about that. And they don't know what these are. Interdimensional, coming from other... They don't know where they're coming from. They don't know if it's us, aliens, if it's all of that. Who knows? Jesus. And this happened in the late 90s. Also among people who will be testifying on Wednesday, a former NASA administrator, Mr. Michael Gold. So far, NASA has kept a very low key on the UAP debate, but depending on what Mr. Gold will be revealing tomorrow at the testimony, the agency might be forced to release any kind of evidence and document they have on UAP sightings. Yeah, I can't wait to keep getting here more and more about this stuff. You know, think about how many different types of spaceships there are. That's got to be different species of aliens from different solar systems and dimensions like that it could be us from the far future like it's crazy yeah. what would you do if you seen that thing Bro, i don't know what that is <laughs> i'd be talking like that guy i don't know what that what? is Flying over downtown. Oh, snap. It's military flares, right? <laughs> this is the original footage of a UFO and a plane. Guys, where do you see this video? This is the most insane UFO video I've seen yet, I think. You could literally see this thing perfect. Where do you see this? Filmed in 2008. We have enhanced the quality of the original video. The UFO was so clear that skeptics that. did not want to believe it is real. It almost looks like there was a little UFO off in front of it. See that? What is that right there? See the second one right there? Oh man, what is that? These people saw a UFO coming out of the water and got it all on Yo, guys, if you went on a cruise and seen this shit here that they're about to show you, what would you do? Drop it in the comments, then. Camera. <laughs> Look at that thing. What, what else could that be besides an alien? <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Yo, I would have been scared that that thing was going to sink or ship, man. Oh, my God. How about you? That's some crazy stuff, man. I don't even know what I would do if I seen that for real. Crazy, man. That's insane. <laughs> Guys, look at this one. This is like a skyscraper in the air, like over China. It's a crazy thing. Dude. I never even saw one like this. It's like a skyscraper in the We have all been cautioned in this committee hearing uh, that the mention of Pentagon's uh, immaculate Guys, what do you guys hear what this lady says about this is like the crazy I don't know if this is real, I don't know if it's AI or what, but listen to this. Constellation program could uh, put us on a list. Well, um, I already find myself on many lists, I'm sure. So um, I speak my mind often, so why not just keep going with it? Um, may as well just go all out and say it. The earth is flat, birds are government drones. And uh, we've never set on foot on the moon, and Joe Biden received 81 million votes in the 2020 election. So uh, let's just see how many how many lists we could get on here today. Was anything? To what did she just say? She just <laughs> yo, that's real, man. Oh my god, they said so much crazy stuff at these congressional hearings. I can't even believe it's real, but this shit is real. Described as that we have possession of bodies. Yes, yes. We have Is it multiple? 
types of creatures or? Uh, sir, I, I couldn't answer that. Um, I can tell you anecdotally that it was, it was um, discussed quite a bit when I was at the Pentagon. The problem is the collect, supposed collection of these biological samples occurred before my time, in fact, before I was even born. And was this part of the Lockheed Martin discussion or was this a complete, the biologist is a completely separate? Um, separate yet related. Okay. Um, has has anyone made contact? That. Separate but related. Uh, sir, I'm sorry, could you specify? Has, has there been any, to your knowledge, any communication with a non-human life form? So the term communication is a bit of a trick word because um, there's verbal communication like we're having now. Uh, the problem is you also have nonverbal communication. And so I would say definitively yes, but from a nonverbal meaning, when a Russian reconnaissance aircraft comes into U.S. airspace, we scramble two F-22s and we are certainly communicating intent and capability. Um, I think the same goes with this. We have these things that are being observed over controlled U.S. airspace, um, and they're not really doing a good job hiding themselves. They're making it pretty obvious they have the ability to even interfere with our, our nuclear equities and our nuclear readiness. Is, is um, the United States government or... Yo, this Lou Elizondo, he knows everything. I would love to pick his brain and, and like hear what he has to say off camera because, man, that guy knows everything. And our contractors, are they pulling, you know, technology from this? Are they are they're reverse engineering this? Sir, as I previously stated, and please forgive me, um, I am not authorized to discuss specifics about crash retrievals. Um, I, again, I signed documentation with the U.S. government. Um, what I can say was after a, a very thorough review process by the Pentagon, what I wrote about. And that was my limit, unfortunately, that I was given. Thank you. Yes, sir. Does anybody know how long that um, stays for? Like, if you sign an NDA for something like that for the military, how long does he have to stay quiet before it becomes unclassified? If somebody knows the answer to that, drop it in the comments for me because I need. I want to know that. In this report, it's just striking to me that that regarding the descriptions of of uh, experiences, I don't know why he keeps with going these up various and down like craft. That. Several of them include biological effects and several do not. Are you familiar with what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, so spheres and orbs, triangular craft, and irregular orbs. Guys, I'm going to say now sorry for how slow this guy talks because, man, this guy is the slowest talker I've ever heard in my life. Organic craft includes some descriptions of biological effects including feelings of unease, uh, electronic device malfunctions, um, long-term psychological effects such as anxiety or insomnia have been noted, feeling of being watched, a shared awareness with the triangle craft. Shared and awareness. Under the irregular and organic craft, biological effects, effects include physical sensations of warmth or cold and unexplained smells and psychological distress. So these are, these are very... Yeah, I've heard that before in the past, that these things make you, like, so uneasy and the, the, the feeling of fear and, and just, like, impending doom is, like, insane, I guess they say. Specific descriptions of the reactions of human beings, which allegedly have been have been noted from from a study here a report did all of those experiences would have been would have been described by the sources that the author used i'm not sure i understand it, it, this is a very broad description of of biological effects and it's it's striking to me that they are present with relation to some types of craft, but right. absent in others. This would require a, a great deal of research and study. Can you explain that? My understanding is that this is, uh, the database is very large. It includes both the images, the videos, the still images, as well as the human intelligence, the reports, the raw data from individuals having these experiences. So in answer to your question, yeah, I mean, I think we're looking at a very large amount of data collected over many decades. And that data is, is held by the Department of Defense? Well, I will, I, sh I will say that after I published, I was told that this program, that the USAP 
was actually um, managed by the Department of Defense, but held at the White House. Roger but that. that's a single source, and I, I don't have multiple sources to verify that. Thank you, sir. I did my best to trick an answer out of <laughs> you, but it was partially successful. Madam Chair, I yield. Oh, shit. So, guys, what do you think about all those clips? That's some pretty crazy stuff that the Congress is saying right now. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. They keep revealing a little more, a little more. And that's what they said they're going to do. Instead of telling us all at once, it'll be a long, drawn-out disclosure. So, yo, guys, that's going to be it for today with the videos. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you guys got any other clips you want me to see, hit me up my email, doomsdayonthehorizon at gmail.com. And you can send me clips there. You can reach out to me if you just want to say hi, whatever. But, guys, that's going to be it for today. We'll see you next time.